All right, my dudes. I had to adjust the color on this CRT 35XBR48 recently. It's an old tube and it's a little worn out and it had a, an issue where the screen was tinted a little bit green. So I went in and looked up how to do SMPTE color bar, like color calibration as far as colors and brightness. And I came up with a lot of videos on LCD screens and doing it for your CRT is a little bit different. So I'm making this video because I didn't find much help out there. So let me just get into it. So you got your SMPTE color bars. That's what this pattern is right here. And I mean, I'm using 240p test suite to do this. Um, I mean, it's 2021. You can find this pattern out there. Uh, so what you do, first thing, you uh, get into your menu and we're going to turn... Let's see, we'll get in here. We're gonna turn our picture, or sometimes called contrast, um, down to about a third there. And then we're gonna, I believe if you look up LCDs, they tell you to turn it all the way off. That doesn't seem to work well with CRTs. And then we'll turn the color all the way down. And then, so the first thing you adjust is brightness. And then, so what you want to do is just your brightness up. See, there's three bars right here. There's three bars. One, two, three. Let's turn this brightness all the way up so you can see them. See these, yeah, right here on this square, it's like the second from the left, there's three bars within that square. And you want these two to just disappear into each other. So you turn your brightness down. There we go, I'm turning my brightness down here. And you're not probably going to pick it up on the video, but what you want to do is turn it down until those two bars on the left disappear into each other. And then the bar on the right is just barely visible. So my TV's a little tired. It's kind of old and washed out, so I leave it a little bit on the brighter side of things. Because when you get down to like the, you know, do I leave it like one up or one down? You know, there's a little bit of leeway there. I leave it more on the brighter side for this old tube. So now we got our brightness dialed in. Now what you're gonna do is they would typically tell you to go in and adjust your picture or contrast right now. Now I've found on these CRTs that you don't do that. Um, picture and contrast, I'll talk about that later. The next thing you wanna go and do is adjust your color. So to adjust the color, you need a blue screen. So what I went out there and did is I bought these blue gels that you can cover over your screen they're called theater gels but you don't need those i mean you can use those but i got a more elegant solution if you have like a bbm over here i mean this boy's got a you can control the red and green guns on it aren't you where they are rgb right here so i just turn the red and the green guns off and now it's blue only well, you know what? Most of these consumer sets, these high-end sets, Wegas, XBRs, D-Series, Toshibas, you know, you get in the service menu and you can do the same thing as that BVM. A lot of PVMs have settings you can turn the, the red and green guns off too. So we're gonna do that now. So we'll get into the service menu. So you power it off, hit display, um, five, volume up. Power on. Oh, I didn't do it fast enough. I'm trying to hold the camera and do this. Excuse me, guys. Power. Display. Five. Volume up. Power. There we go. So I'm in the service menu. You use the uh, one and four buttons to navigate over to... On this set, it's R on. We want to find R on, R on and G on. So we're going to turn R on to zero. 
This is zero and a one, it's an on and an off switch. And then G on, the green gun on the electron beam. So now we're in blue only mode. So when you're in blue only mode, look at this bar on the far left right here. You can look at that one, or I believe you can look at this one too, it doesn't matter. And what you want is for these two squares, or on this side, these two squares to be the same intensity. So you adjust your color. We'll go in, color. So we're gonna turn color up until these two bars here are the same. Color, color, color. Oh, see the one on the bottom starting to come in, starting to come in. Oop, that's right about the same right there. So now the bottom one's too bright. And then you just kind of mess with this liminal state right here until you get it to where you're happy. I like that. Okay, next you adjust the hue. Hue. Now hue I found on CRTs, it's always in the middle. Like if you just put it in the middle, it's gonna be fine. You can really, and you can do this one by eye anyways, like cue something you notice if it's off. But if you wanna know how to do it, what you do is you look at these two bars here and you adjust them so they're the same. You could also use these two, it doesn't matter. And da, 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 mess with the liminal state, right around there, okay. So that's it, that's basically it. That's what you're gonna find on YouTube when they talk about LCDs. Now, I'll show you in a little bit more detail something I had to do because I found that the green was a little bit too pronounced on my TV, and I'll show you how I, I service that and how, you know, if this doesn't quite do it for you, a little bit more advanced stuff you can try and do. So, um, let's see here. So what we're gonna do is get our red and green guns back on. And in this service menu, if you press zero and then enter, it's gonna default back to what the service menu settings were when you first entered it. Okay, so let's see, I am in the menu. Okay, now I'm in the service menu still. Now, if you go into your service menu and you look for things called gain, like R, G, and B gain, R gain, G, B, uh, yeah, the gain will adjust color settings. Um, cut will adjust color settings, R cut, G cut, B cut. Um, what else is there? Bias, R bias, G bias. And then, you know, if you got a funky TV or a different TV, it's not a Trinitron, you'll just kind of have to look it up and find what the different settings are. And I just messed around with them. I mean, write them down first. So I wrote down on this particular set, the G cut and B cut is what I was able to adjust and and that helped it so let's see if i can find um g cut and b cut in here somewhere oh must have gone the wrong way sorry guys Uh, not seeing anything color related in here. Uh, da, 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 da. I'll probably just edit this out. Okay, I'm back to the beginning now. Let's see. Size. These are geometry settings. B drive. I think the drive settings as well adjust color. Okay, here we are. G cut and B cut. Now I had G cut to eight. That's where it was originally at eight. So let's find G cut and three and six will adjust the values. It was at eight and then B cut was at nine. B cut nine. So let me pull up a game and show you like how this color was off. Let me find one here. A good one to show is a last resort because it has a, a level that's very blue I think it's my save state five let's try five yeah yeah 
So let me pause this. And then I think I'm going to have to turn the contrast up. So yeah, um, back to the contrast settings. Contrast is something I've found when you're playing different movies or games, the person that made that game or movie may or may not have wanted it oversaturated, undersaturated, light, dark. Your room might be light and dark. So you still are going to have to mess around with your settings. But what I've found, instead of messing around with brightness and color, now that we've calibrated those, now I tend to just mess with mess with my um, my picture setting from now on. Like if I want it brighter, I just turn my picture setting up. Okay, so that's how I deal with picture. Anyways, so let's see. Like look, this TV over here, this Trinitron XBR has very low hours on it. The colors on it are amazing. It's as it's in as good a shape as as my BVM probably like as far as colors and whatnot so I like to use this one and compare it to so th this looks really blue this looks really green pardon the fact that this TV is uh, on its side this is my Tate gaming TV let's see if I back up you can just look at those two TVs there's the BVM let's see it's just greener. Everything's greener on that one. Look at the BVM over here. Oh, I think this one shows it the best. So anyways, what I did, let's see, B cut. So I changed my B cut to uh, 10. So let's change it to 10. We'll go B cut. 10 and then G cut I changed to 6 G cut now this is better this is better it's not perfect and that's the thing with CRTs when they start to go off in my experience you can rarely get them back to perfect some people can maybe save on pack can I can't so I just try to improve things and that's all I was able to do with this. And uh, that's the video, guys. Hope you liked it. You know, uh, if you uh, got something out of this, be sure to, uh, you know, don't comment, subscribe, and all that stuff. What I want you to do is go out there and beat a hard game. You know, go beat me some battle toads. If that's asking too much, maybe go beat, like, um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on the Nintendo. Do that for me. You know, if you need some 16 bits, get like some uh, X-Men Mutant Apocalypse. That's what I'd like. That makes me happy. All right. Beat some games, guys.